All right, I'll play it. God. Oh, a year. A year of non-stop requests to play this game. And it's finally here. Uh, but jokes aside, I am really excited. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Anemiopolis. Or at least I hope that's how it's pronounced, because it's the way I've been pronouncing it in my head for the past year. And this is, hands down, by a wide margin, the most requested game on the channel. By far. And there's a reason for that. This is touted as the liminal space game. And every screenshot, every short two second clip I've seen has lent itself to that assumption. This looks amazing. Now, I don't know how much this is going to lean into horror and how much it's going to be more about that psychological feeling of liminality, of being trapped in a space that seems so familiar and yet so alien, something that seems constructed from distant memories. I've talked a lot about what makes a liminal space on this channel and here, well, this almost feels like it's going to be the final boss. Let's try it. We won't know until we try it. Now, the Steam store says this is chapter one. I'm not sure how this works exactly, if it's going to be like episodic or if it's going to be released in updates or what. But let's give it a shot. Ooh. Anemiopolis closed. Oh, well, we've come out here to the middle of nowhere, it seems. Oh, it looks like the Windows 95 desktop background. Serenity in what looks like probably Middle America? The only distinguishing features being the trees in the distance and the power lines running by the road. Alright, just lower the resolution a little bit to ensure that OBS won't have an issue, and that is looking quite a bit smoother. And this being quite a contrast to what I would expect. Every other liminal space game I've ever played has had us waking up on the floor of some office-like setting. But here, this could almost be described as a liminal exterior, which is something you don't see a whole lot of. Uh, then again, the loneliness of it, us being the lone car in a gigantic parking lot, a, a gigantic parking lot apparently meant to serve nothing, as that dawn or sunset looms on the horizon, I don't know, this just feels fake somehow. Like, it's almost... It's almost like a trap how idyllic it is. This shouldn't take long. Hopefully. So this isn't a dream. I do know why I'm here. That stain in the parking lot somehow adding just a little bit of... I don't know, humanity to it? What a sad billboard. Closed. It doesn't look like anything was ever even here. Unless maybe that's supposed to be the name of the town. Press space or A to jump. Okay, we're hopping the fence. Making some very weird sounds as we do so. Huh. That's what I assume it is. For a farm community, we can press E to observe. Animeapolis. <laughs> Animeapolis. So, okay, so I guess my struggle to pronounce it is not going to be a subject of ridicule. I've been sweating that for a year. Animeapolis. Animeapolis. I think that's. Animeapolis. Animeapolis is what I'm going to go with. It's too late to change it. I'm sorry. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. But I'll go forward knowing the right way to say it, and that's the important thing. Must have been closed for a while now. Did the sign look like that before? I happened to glance down at my mic levels for just a second, and... 
Did it look like that as we approached? Did it have that tearing? I honestly don't know. I wonder, was it never built? A construction project that just never went through. I mean, such things aren't unheard of, but still. I'm getting heavy Ozymandias vibes from this. Look upon my works, ye mighty, in despair. Although, it's a billboard proclaiming no works yet. There's the Transformer. Let's take a look. Alright, let's go see it. Maybe someone needs to audit the last auditor of this spot. So I'm not the first to be sent here. The cover is missing. So do we have to go find it? And wait, what is this powering? Wait a minute, did somebody tamper with this? Okay, I'm not sure what this would have been powering in the first place. Maybe just the lights for the sign or something, but... Look at that. Someone's patched in a cable, and it stretches off into the distance, but we can't see where because we're blinded by the sun. Brilliant. Well, that doesn't look up to code. Sent on a goose chase that we can't see the end of, but it looks like there's something on the horizon there. What is this even hooked up to? I'm finding so much to talk about for an empty grass field. That's a very good sign for this game. Panel over a trap door. Oh! Shit, 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 shit. That was a major underreaction, sir. Oh! Uh, swim up, swim up, swim up, swim up, swim up, swim up. Which way is up? Just how far did we fall? We were falling for a long time. Oh my, the graphics in this are incredible. Look at these reflections on the water. The way it moves around us and this architecture. This room is huge, but so dim. And what was down there, I, I can't seem to submerge myself again, but as we were rising, the layout of this, yeah. As we were rising against this, I couldn't tell which way was up. It's a good thing it wasn't under my control. All right, well, let's get out of here. I'm developing hypothermia. I should be dead right now. Where am I? That's a very good question. I don't know if people want me to talk like this the entire time, but I'm going to feel like talking like this the entire time. Is anybody here? Hello? Okay, that last voiceover has me a little bit concerned. That last hello, it doesn't sound like a final hello, an attempt to get anyone's attention. It sounds more like he saw something I didn't up in the shadows. The scale of this is so disorienting, like depending on where you look, it seems so small and so huge. This is not good. Am I stuck down here? Oh, are these those little floaty boards? Somehow it's relatable to see some kind of object rather than just construction down here. Locked. Maybe we can climb this diving board? This diving board which doesn't connect to there but looks like it might? I'll be honest, it's actually weird how relatable this room is already starting to seem to me. Because it's reminding me a lot of the pool in the rec center I used to go to as a kid. I, I think I've talked about it on the channel before. Hello? I might be able to rewire this access panel. I would not want to be touching anything electrical right now. We can see how wet the floor is in the reflections. Oh, a mini game. Connect each matching socket using WASD. Oh, I pressed a button and missed the first part because I tried to step closer. Press LMB to undo the wiring. Oh, so it's almost like a snake-esque game. 
I imagine these will get more complicated and more frantic. Uh, but wait, let's uh, first run over to the other thing. Well, this isn't going to help me get higher, is it? It's not going to help me get over there. It's just going to help us have fun. Maybe I can bridge the gap between here and that balcony. Oh, I see. Let's just try not to get our hands stuck. Or let's try to be awesome! Ooh, we go straight to the bottom. Now, of course, I have to try this door first. An exit sign, which has been known to taunt me in maps like this. How did I know? Somehow leaving the handle half depressed is worse than it just rising back up immediately. I, I don't know how interesting this is for you guys, but I can already tell I'm going to enjoy this a lot. Ooh. Retracting the diving board so incredibly cursed. Alright, so that can go back that way. Oh. And we'll have to run and jump to make it. These little spots of, like, what looks like mold on the back of this thing. Yeah. Oh, just made it. That's... That might be a little bit difficult. That didn't look like I was going to clear that. Yeah, we can actually jump quite a bit higher than it looks like we're jumping. Well, let's try every door in the suspiciously untextured hall. Locked. Locked. Who needs an underground pool? The idea of this thing being underground should be last on the list of your things that are strange about this location, sir. Maybe Anemiopolis never really closed at all. Oh. This is actually a lot like that map I played by Nanobite, the pool rooms. I might have to force my way out of here. Nobody's around to let me out. Oh, look at that jitter on the drop shadow on the text. That's like a really nice touch. Gives this game a little bit of character. But here's the thing about being trapped underground. You can't force your way out. Actually, the untexturedness of it all, it sort of reminds me of, uh, of Nassant's E. And I've talked about this before on other maps that featured pool room-esque uh, levels. All of these underground pool type structures, they sort of remind me of sort of the thing I might dream up as a kid. The kind of thing that might seem awesome. And that's what I mean when I say that liminal spaces often feel like they're built from remnants, from pieces of distant memories. Of even distant memories of a dream I might have as a kid. Ooh. That's a lot of beach balls. It sure is. Well, over here is very dark. What is that? Well, it goes back and forth. Presumably it does something around the corner. Oh, it turns you on and off. Is there a reason I would want to do that, or is it just another feature of this? Oh, I see. I see. It probably enables you. I don't know if you were on before. Electronic lock. No access panel. Maybe there's a way to break it? Well, oh, I see. I can probably short it out using this. There we go. Okay. So there's going to be some puzzle-solving elements to this, if that wasn't already obvious. But I want to see as much as possible. What happens if I leap over this wall and get down here? Nope. There's nothing here but a lot of beach balls. And these chairs form a ramp. Now that's weird. It's doing that thing where the space feels almost without intention without input and in other ways like it's made for me
Hello? The walls in this room are textured like the sky outside. I guess I made a choice right there. Okay. We've crossed the threshold. Imagine there's an invisible sign above this door that says no textures allowed beyond this point, but here... Here, textures are allowed, and do you hear that? There's, like, Muzak playing. Is anybody here? Hearing nothing in response but that music and the echo of our own voice is so much worse than anything else that could have come rushing down the hall. And we're a vampire! What a way to find out. I've actually read that, like, in lore, a vampire would be visible in modern mirrors because they're not backed by silver. Silver is considered like a holy substance that just will not interact with vampires at all. But it does reflect the environment, which means that the environment is not a vampire, so we're learning about it. We're crossing things off the list. Hello? Ah. Uh, it's like bathrooms merged with convention center hallways. Bringing in that element of lim lim liminality, sorry, of areas seemingly combining elements from multiple types of areas that are familiar, yet somehow being none of them as a whole. Well, excuse me while I search every single one of these for Easter eggs. Nope. No Easter eggs in any of these lockers. Okay. Well, how many is that? That's uh, seven to a row. Uh, seven, 14, 28, 56 per locker. So 56, 56, 56, 56. No, I missed something. Five tickets. Okay. We've discovered a currency in the game. Well, that was worth it, or at least I hope so. <sighs> Some more. Well, now I'm going to be doing this for a while, I guess. Hope I win an Xbox. Ah, uh, there's more. There's so much more. Found another. Found another. Come on. Come on. Uh, let me get it. Let me get it. You're doing this on purpose. Thank you. Well, let's see what's around this corner then. Oh, wait, no. That looks like it might actually lead somewhere. Oh, this is going to be such an agonizing game for figuring out what's the progression path and what's the exploration path. Unless stuff like this happens, then it's fine. Was there a reason I just collected all those tickets? And that music hasn't stopped. But there is a clear progression. The pools, the bathroom, the lockers, and the showers. The office hallway was a bit of a weird touch, but I guess you could consider all that part of the bathrooms and part of this building's unique style. At least that's what you say on the real estate listing. I'm drawn to the plant. I trust it. It's another living thing down here, and us carbon-based life forms, we gotta stick together, right? That music actually hasn't let up. It's been the same this entire time, I think. Hello, chair. I feel like I'm reaching under somebody's seat to take something. 
What is it that we're waiting for, invisible occupant of chair? Oh, and we can hear the buzz from the electric lights. That classic element also present. A rounded hallway, making it seem like this hallway is trying to present something to me. A rounded... Every once in a while I hear a sound like a door opening. But to me, a rounded hallway is almost the architectural equivalent of a drum roll. Like you're expecting something to be just around the corner. Is that a... Oh no. I was almost expecting a skylight. To look up and see... Well, not a real sky, but some kind of sky. Okay, this is where that hallway would have terminated. If we're gonna be living this life, we're gonna need to make use of every resource possible. Hello. Which means there must be something... Uh, you would think we would be able to open that and see what's in there. Or at least you would think a character would want to try that. Because it's at this point that I'd start to think, what am I going to eat and drink? We don't have the sensory capability to know if that room smelled like chlorine with the pools. But I feel like it probably would. Wait, I'm getting all turned around. Like, I thought I had a map in my head, and the reality just didn't match. Alright, but I think I got it now. Yeah, that exit sign... Well, it's not exactly worth very much to us, is it? There's outlets down here. If I have a... If I have a USB-C cable, I can charge my phone. And really, what else do I need? Jump line doesn't require an internet connection. However... That elevator is framed in a very Shining-esque fashion. Oh, look how all the wavy lines of the room guide us toward it. Like a beckoning hand. Well, it ain't gonna beckon any harder, so we just gotta... get to it. These doors ain't gonna open. Be quite a twist if they did. Sometimes the movement of the reflections really catches me off guard, too. It's like my eyes in the static space are just trying desperately to look for any movement and reacting in a startled fashion to anything it can get. Going up. That was a human voice. And apparently we're going up. Wait, is this going to keep playing when we step out? I actually really like this. Hmm. Look at this. Ooh, those shiny tiles and that bright reflection almost made me think this was going to be like another pool area, but... Huh. Interesting combination of concepts, one I haven't seen done before. It's an airport and a mall. Two things which do have similar aesthetics, and yet somehow it lands on copying both and being neither. This looks like a food court, the kind with a fancy theme. Maybe we can look in the garbage for tickets. Every sale is one ticket. So I wonder what we'll be trading for. It's almost starting to seem like perhaps there will be some kind of economy system. Unless, of course, it's all a red herring, just meant to drive me crazy. There are some more tickets on the ground right there. Who's leaving them? What for? What's the intention of this place? Why am I asking? Okay. This elevator ain't coming, is it? 
And I'm starting to get the idea that this is going to be a game that loves wasting my time on curiosity. But this is really cool. Look, it's got that sky texture with the glow coming from artificial lighting. And so it's kind of like those canopy glass uh, ceilings that malls have. Maybe there's some secret ending we can get if we just wait for like half an hour per elevator. But I'm not quite willing to stick around for that. Remember, every sale is one I mean, maybe on my own time later. I've got to check each of these garbage cans because I know they're going to... Uh, there's a 3D interior. There's that buzzing electrical light. Ooh, that looks like a whole roll of tickets. 20. I really am anticipating that it's just going to be screwing with me. Why do those hands have to look so realistic? That almost seems 3D at a glance. Alright, if that's the way that we're, that we're going, that's where we're going last. Now this is weird, like, it's open like a mall, but there's no stores. There's no, like, walls where there should be walls. Carts for merchandise left out, which do have physics. Hang on. Wait. A weird thing is going on. It's like I can hear my own voice echoing. Okay, well it went away, but that that was a really that was a really weird effect. Did anybody else hear that? Or was that just some kind of weird psychological thing that just happened? Some kind of weird auditory illusion. Okay, well, this is fun enough that I could probably do this for literally hours. But for the sake of your time and mine, I'm not going to. Yeah, this literally looks like the mall with all the walls and most of the contents taken down. This is like those little booths that they set up in the middle. I'm um, fixing to win a big prize here. I'm assuming that prize is going to be a big fat nothing. But I'm nevertheless intrigued at where it's going with this. Ah. That echo is almost unnerving enough to make me want to just walk. There's more than one elevator open, too. Well, that's all the way around. What kind of design is in you? 60 tickets. 60 tickets to go to the movie theater. Oh, I see what it's doing. There's a bunch of these. Oh, I get it. This is functioning as like a hub. That makes sense, and I didn't even notice you. 120 tickets to go to the Family Tropical Resort. Well, what can I afford? Oh, I actually haven't seen you at all yet. Only 30 tickets to go to the country club, which we can do. Ooh, we can even play with the golf balls. Zero tickets to go to the conference center. The conference center, I'm realizing, is where I came from, isn't it? No. We haven't been here before. Well, no, I have. I have because this looks quite similar to Schlupp's Liminal Space. Remember that? Oh, that was one of the first Liminal Space maps I explored on this channel. And it's complete with those gulfs of darkness in between well-lit areas. Oh, this place is so huge, it's going to drive me crazy. Well, no, because this is just a dead end. We've got to come this way. Always an uncanny feeling. These halls are this wide because they're meant to support a huge volume of people walking through and maybe things set up in the halls. Uh, but if you've ever been in one of these places, like, while a show is going on, while that's happening, if you leave to go to the bathroom or a snack or something, they become very empty and very much like this. 
especially if you experience it at a young age. I mean, my mom used to work at a bank, and there was a whole area of the building that was a lot like this. Sometimes I'd wander it, and ooh, this is giving me shivers thinking back to that. Look at those angles. The way the light just barely peeks through. Inviting us over? Well, I'm not going to accept that invitation right away. All these pointless hallways that seemingly go nowhere. These gaps in the lining of the wall? Why? Some of them have it, some of them don't. Some lights are on, some are not. Also perfectly clean, and yet these gulfs of darkness seem imperfect in a way. But it looks like we found some more tickets. Number 10, bringing us to 70. Meaning we can actually go to two of these places right now. Oh, there's so much to explore. I don't want to leave prematurely, but how will I even know if I've seen everything? It's doing that thing where everything looks just different enough that I know when I'm when I've seen something before, I think. Well, a different carpet is something, right? A different carpet is well, it's chicken soup for the eyes. It's amazing the things your brain trains itself to look for. Any minute difference. Movement is like the holy grail. But even something as si simple as a different colored carpet is a huge deal. Or at least it feels like one. It is a good thing we have infinite sprint... Here's that dream logic. Transitioning from one space to another. A smooth transition. One where if we weren't paying attention, we might not even notice it, but it is a subtly different space sharing commonality with the previous one. But I have no idea what this is all heading towards. Anything in here? No, we can't see inside these garbage cans. That's a relief, at least. I felt something load! Game. Now, I specifically put you on the NVMe SSD so that we would minimize instances of that occurring. So when it stands out, it makes me think that you were loading in a doozy. I suppose ram speed could also be a factor. Please let me use it. Ah, I, I can practically feel how dry my mouth is. In fact, I can feel how dry my mouth is to the point where I'm going to have a sip of water right now. Okay, that was great. It was also the last few drops in my Yeti mug. So we're going to get a move on. Something about being in this space, like, it's really making me start to feel like... Well, like, I'm the one that's trapped. Like, I can't leave. Like, when I think about the situation that my character is in, I almost take not being able to leave as a fact of reality. Wait... I've just realized something. Maybe these gaps, maybe they're representative of where a door would be? Like it's meant to imply that, no, it's not impassable, only for me. This isn't the red carpet area from before, right? That was a much smaller space. Right? It must have been. This can't be it. That's so reflective, it almost looks like the whole wall is the lights. No, I would have seen these tickets before. I, I'm sure I would have.
Uh, this game really living up to the psychological horror element in more ways than I would think, because I have so much experience with exploring liminal areas. But this, I feel like, is really more of an assault on the senses than usual. Basically, in its sensory deprivation. Because other things that I've played have been really huge, or really small, or really winding, or really easy to navigate. This is kind of all of those and none of those at once. You guys... Oh, I thought you were cameras. I was going to see if you would move. We've got reflective, what looks like smoke detectors on the ceiling. And yet, those huge spaces, they almost make me feel like I'm running for my life. Like, I'm not, I know that's a real fear, a fear of open spaces. But this is actually making me feel like almost a panic in the amount of ground that I have to cover. And so when I come down this hallway, I'm drawn to it because it feels like a blanket that I'm nestling myself into. Like I can cocoon myself and feel safe in the completeness of information. Ooh. What is that? Oh, this is almost like if they cleared everything out of a movie theater lobby. One balcony up there. Where could it lead? And one dark, shadowy staircase in the back. Now, we could leave right now. We have that option. There is an elevator here that I imagine leads us back to what I guess I'll start calling the terminal. But I'm very curious about there, the backstage. Another fountain. Oh, there's so much more to this. That's the thing, is I feel like I can't explore everything. The first stage made it seem like, you know, as long as I spend enough time on an area, I'll get it. But this really feels like that would set me back hours. Seeing only familiar things, and yet somehow only new stuff. Have I made a wrong choice by not just taking the elevator at any chance I can get? I'll never know if this is a place that I've seen before. I'll never know. My desire to be complete has led me astray, I think. I'm gonna have to, okay, from here, I'm going to have to maintain my sense of direction back to the movie theater lobby, back to the elevator. I need to imagine my body as a compass and think about that with each turn that I make. I don't think we've seen this before. I have to make sure that my body has a single direction that I keep turning back to, my primary direction, that I can always refer to, so that I know which way to head. Oh, but tickets are sparse, and, well, not finding tickets could mean that I've already been here, couldn't it? Starting to get the psychological horror aspect of this, really am. I'm right back where I came from. Unbelievable. Which means that I went through all that, and I could have just made a right turn right from the very beginning. Or at least I think I could have. My perception says that I... no. 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 Even though I've gotten turned around, my my main direction, my, my lock-on direction, it's got to still be right, right? We've got to go this way. We've got to go this way. Oh, the way this environment, like, folds around itself. You could travel so far and be so close to where you started. Or you could travel two feet and end up connecting to something that takes you on this whole winding journey. 
And some of these chairs being knocked over, it just adds to that just occasional sense of imperfection. Occasional blemishes. I can't believe how much I'm getting to talk about from empty rooms, but I'm really happy to see Red, and I think I'm going to get in that elevator now, because this actually is starting to feel a little bit like psychological torture. Imagine actually being in it. I do wonder how long you'd have to be in it before it dawns on you that this is actually a threat to your survival. Alright, take me out of here. Just under the assumption that this will bring us back to the terminal, when we look up, those lights blind us. Encouraging us to basically sleepwalk to keep our eyes to the floor. Are we here now? I feel like I could fall asleep in one of these elevators. The carpet looks nice, the music is beautiful. But here we are. We now have, what, something like 75, 80 tickets? So I think we can choose between a couple of these. This one over here... Oh, I get it! I get it. I wasn't waiting for five elevators to arrive here, like, waiting, waiting. I have to take five elevators before I can do this. Yeah, four elevators remaining. I didn't get it until I advanced. Alright, well, let's have a look. What do all these things require? This one's zero tickets, so that's where I just came from, the conference center. This one, 30, the country club. I'm just going to take it the smallest amount at a time that I can go. The country club. Um, oh, we insert right here, duh. I'm going to show the whole elevator trip for all of them. It's part of the experience as far as I'm concerned. Okay, I like this place a lot. It almost feels like one of those retirement condos. The way the units would be sectioned off like a motel. This would be the courtyard, and yet... It looks sort of like the bingo area at the rec center instead. Those outdoor light posts lining it. The green carpets make it feel like a yard with a stone walkway in the middle, but it's all carpet. Well, let's go complain to the landlord, I suppose. Hole one? Or exit? I choose exit. You're punishing me. You're punishing me for choosing exit. We can leave and go back to that area whenever we find an elevator, but we're encouraged to explore with the tickets. We need a certain amount to advance. We can leave, but if we don't have enough, we'll have to come back and look for more. So in that way, we're forced to explore, but we're not forced to see everything. Okay, I see what you're doing, game. There is only one path here. But there's no ball. This is all just built into a hallway. This game loves to taunt me. Presenting me with a choice at each and every hole. We can exit at each one. Where is it going with this? Takes us on a winding pathway. This one's seemingly more winding than the other. It wants me to turn back. I see that now. Never mind. Huh, I was just about to give up on that hallway. No, no, no. This isn't just geometry. This part is pulling some kind of shenanigans. It's pulling my leg. It's yanking my chain. Oh, this is creepy. 
This is creepy. The geometry has been static up until this point. I hope we'll be able to... No. No, 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 no. It has changed on us. I thought it would be able to... I, I thought it would take us right back to hole one. But instead, it's over here. And we don't go back to hole one. We go back to hole two. Our progression is permanent. Okay, well, I've learned my lesson. Only now it wants us to play. And I, I do want to play. I really, really do. Well, crap. Alright, so it's not limited to that area, which means this is difficult. Let's go. Urgh, I'm not going to be able to hit it back with the minimum force. There we go. I feel accomplished already. Alright, next one. If we don't sink the time into this, if we don't play the game on the game's sort of sense of humor, then we're not playing the game correctly as far as I'm concerned. We could leave it to just the exploration. Oh! I'm starting to understand golf. Like, it might seem like a waste of time, but, like, this is necessary. This is engaging with the game on the game's level. There's a hole here dead ahead. Now, I've never been mini-golfing or played any kind of golf, but I'm starting to see the appeal. Or rather, I'm starting to see why people get so angry about it. Put it that way. Um, like, a step away from changing my mouse's DPI settings... I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not even going to be close. All right, well, we can use the angled nature of the walls here. I don't quite get laser strength. There's two different things. I don't quite get laser strength. There's two things. They're not resistant. I'm just understanding it. Just put it right in. There don't seem... I'm not sure if there's steam achievements for this, but there should be an achievement if you can manage a hole-in-one. Especially if you can manage a perfect game. Like, I feel like they should just give you the rights to this property if you do that. This is going to be more a matter of coming in the right way. Mini golfing is not what I thought I'd be doing today. However, it's not the least enjoyable thing I've done all day. Come on. I didn't see a lot of that, but it sounded impressive. I don't even know if something different happens, like, if we do or don't decide to engage with this. Hole 7. Is it actually going to do 18? I think... I'm not sure. Does mini golf not do all 18? Is mini golf like a smaller number? See, this is weird. This game has a lot of, like, nonsense. It has a sense of humor to it. And... Normally, I'm somebody who hates having his time wasted in games, like, famously. So, it's kind of weird how... I, I don't know what kind of weird thing this game's doing in my brain, where I'm so willing to engage with this nonsense. Especially when I have the option of just going straight out of here. Um, oh wow, this is really taking me a... If something were to peek around this corner at this point, I wouldn't even notice it. That's how invested I am. Uh, will you just bounce off the surface? No. You'll actually properly roll up it. Uh, it's a little bit more... Yeah, a whole 11. It's going to be all 18, isn't it? Yeah, 
Golf is just pool for people with way too much land. Yep. Alright, let's go find Okay, I just did it. And we do it without pushing as Lee. You gotta figure out what is required amount of strength. And it's probably active. Now, you saw one, please, thank you. Yeah, feels good. Oh, well, well, you're getting the opportunity to go straight in. But I can definitely feel that drift. Got it anyway. <sighs> There's a wedge here, so it's probably impossible, but imagine if it just bounced straight back out. Alright, cross the bridge. Oof. Mortal Lord's gonna do a recall. And. And. Ah, if you don't have to do a recall, maybe you still can. Perhaps we'll try to do a recall over there, but also put it over the hole. And then I'll get it, okay? You know, actually, if we go back and speak to the liminal space as a place where we can't really discern whether it has intention, well, this feels, I don't know, this feels a bit more human in some interpretations. We have those human voices coming over the, over the intercom. We have plain English text, we have, well, golf, we have the concept of tickets, I don't know. It all speaks to maybe, in this instance, maybe this is all some sort of experiment that's taking place. Like, if this game is to have a story, maybe we're here for a reason? Like, what is an Emiopolis? What was it to begin with? What were we sent here to even audit? That transformer on the surface, just in the middle of nowhere? Like, what did my character think this was? You know, that's the, that's the beauty of golf. This is something that I wouldn't have thought about if I hadn't been forced into sitting here and playing this. But here we are. What's my record time? An hour and nine minutes? So that means I, I'm like a little less than that in, into the game? Feels like a lot longer. In a good way, actually. I mean, I do feel like I've started to go insane. And I'm not sure how much of that is from the liminal space and how much of that is because I've gotten into golf for the first time. Let's try to over here. Uh, really high person. Otherwise, you're risking too much. I can't buy you, I don't think. Alright, that's really critical, but it's not pushing. There we go. 15, 23 main. Ooh. Ooh. That shadowy corner was a little bit creepy. See, these thin spaces like this with a carpeted floor, they always remind me of this little, like, play place thing uh, that my pediatrician had in his office. In the waiting area, at least. It was this little house that you could crawl around in. Had two floors. But it was very dark in there. That shadow just flashed me right back to it. If I go silent, is that weird? Is that creepy to you? Leaving you alone with the fluorescent buzz? Um, yeah, that one kind of made it easy for me. 16? Oh, now it's actually. 16, 17, 18. Final hole. And you are definitely going to save the most complicated for last, aren't you? There we go. Excellent outcome. Oof. My own jump sound just jump scared me. Why does it have to be such like a guttural noise? Sounds like some kind of primate creature has just snuck up behind me and is about to impale me on a spear. Or strangle me, wring my neck with its bare hands. And again, this is a pretty new viewer. It's gonna be a little bit more than that. No, I just well, there's a clip. There we go. Yeah, that thing tends to launch it. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no. Oh no no no. Please let this be the last one. You can't just add more holes to golf, liminal space. You just can't. It's not allowed. I kind of suspected it would do that. I, I kind of suspected it would want to give us that moment of like, oh, come on. And so it is. I wonder if this is just wasting my time. Like, I wonder if it's not just going to procedurally generate these things until I finally give up. If I exit here, if I exit here, it'll just bring us right back, right? We haven't found any tickets. We haven't found any tickets. We haven't found any tickets, but I do have enough to go to the next thing. I think one of them required like 60. Aww. Is this whole thing a waste of time? This whole thing? Do you get it? Yeah, at hole 31, I feel like that's the point where I have to give up on this. At a certain point, it's just not worth it? The ghost of one of the flags. I think we're done here. At a certain... There's probably something that happens. I don't know. At a certain point, I just have to move on. Oh, good God. If, I actually kind of feel, at this point, like I need the elevator ride to decompress from that. I hope you don't mind if I just slump against the wall here and listen to the music for a little while. Uh, it's starting to lull me to sleep. Uh, what time is it? It is 4.31 in the morning. This game only released a couple hours ago. I had to get on it. I actually, at the time of this recording... I had just finished recording part four of uh, Minecraft from the Fog. No, you were the one that required 75 tickets. So what about you? Also, does the other one count as using an elevator? I mean, maybe not. 60 here to go to the movie theater. You need 60 tickets. I only have 45. See, now this says 75 for aerobic fitness and relaxation, but this says replay intro. So if we head back to the country club and try to... I, I didn't get to read what the door button said before. Replay this level. Oh, wait, no, here's more. 20 on a shelf. 20 that I already had. Oh no, maybe I grabbed some from right here? Well, now I have 70. Zero for the conference center because it's where we start. This, it, it says 70. I don't know if that's an oversight. It says 75, but this is the intro? The movie theater. Now that's going to be where it's at. Oh, I got to get my head back into the commentary game. I spent so long on that golf. Music, it's lulling me straight to sleep. This carpet looks so thick and comfy. Where's the ticket taker? I feel like I'm playing the theater. 
Look, we know there's supposed to be posters in these. But there's nothing but the reflection of the room in the plastic. The lights being on and that soft music playing? No. No, this is a place for sleeping. I could swear I see a face in those reflections. Of course, it'll dissolve as I approach and those reflections change. But it was there. Oh, this, the music in this game is so relaxing. I don't know if it's licensed or if it's commissioned for this. Ah, oh, but look, if we look beyond the grates, we can see that hallway stretches off into nothing. Nothing but darkness. Uh, y'all get any more of them tickets? Yeah, there's ten right here. We need, what, 120 to get to the next place? Any on these tables? No. So, uh, wh where can we go then? We can't open these gates on our own. We can jump up, but that doesn't help. What do we do? Perhaps... Perhaps we can climb this, yes. This doesn't feel like it should be achievable in real life, but... You know, I wonder if this does take inspiration from the theater. Not just in terms of aesthetics, I mean, of course, this is what movie theaters tend to look like. Although a dining area in the concession stand is kind of weird. By climbing up this side geometry, it, it kind of makes it feel a little bit like we're glitching out of bounds in a video game. Like we're seeing somewhere we're not meant to see. You know, I just have to check the other side. No, nothing. This isn't a movie theater at all. This looks like more mall. Oh, and this is a really interesting way of coding things. We're in the mall, but we get the impression that it's nighttime and after hours. Not just because the stores are closed and the lights are out, but because the lights being out and us being completely unable to see beyond the glass, even though we know from our own experience that these should be stores, it feels like looking out onto a dark night. And so these lights in the middle, they don't make the place feel lit. They make it feel... Well, they make it feel closed. They make it feel after hours. And our eyes do adjust to these stores in the dark, but it's still quite hard to see. I feel like I'm where I don't belong. Out of my way. Imagine how that would look if anyone else were here. They'd just be walking past the storefront and see this come shuffling out and spinning. Okay, we're going to have to thoroughly search. There are 50 tickets. 50 tickets. But we spent a lot on this. So we pretty much just broke in even. Dunk. Ah, uh, I see. This store is totally closed. It's only the back maintenance area that connects them. Uh, when I step into darkness like this... Oh, it's like coming upstairs from getting a snack in the morning. I can feel something grasping at my neck. Horrifying. And it seems to fizzle into failure right at the end there. Can't play with any of these other things. At the mall near me, when I was a kid, 
there was one of these little toys, and it had, um, it, it was a rocket ship, and inside were all these light-up dials and buttons. It was so cool. I went home, and I had my little Tonka tool set, and I tried to build one. Didn't work. In the end, all I ended up doing was drawing with magic marker on some plastic wood. I ended up having fun in my rocket ship nonetheless, even if it was just a piece of colored plastic wood. I mean, I suppose you get a few calories from a gumball machine. Especially if you get all the gumballs. Let's do it. Take them all out. In fact, you know, because it's letting me do this and because we can only do each one once, I'm betting that maybe one of them might have tickets inside. Although, let's be real. If I were in this situation, I would end up like, having to run from something and slip on these things and crack my skull open. It could, if it wanted, subtly mess with me by having some of these things occasionally turn back, which I'm starting to suspect is exactly what it's doing. Guys, this is psychological horror. That's what you're witnessing right now. Gumball-based psychological horror. What are you looking at? Can I actually get anywhere else? Ooh, tickets. Tickets, tickets, tickets. But it's only a handful. I need way more. Was the music playing this loud before, or did I just run through too quickly? Sure, we can go back. No, we can't. No, we can't. So that makes it very, very clear that I need to find something very soon. Like these. But it's not enough, though. Uh, somehow, when you have that loud and somewhat less satisfying music in the middle here... Like, it's nice, but in this context, the way the bass is all boosted, it's just unpleasant to walk under. In a land of limited stimuli, every stimulus is significant. Every stimulus. And I would like to maybe add taste to that? I love these things. Can we get under here? No. This almost looks more like the entrance to a subway station. Am I supposed to be learning something from you? Oh, wait. That looks like an electrical box. I didn't even notice it before. Oh, in that maintenance hallway, it goes behind a store. Oddly enough. Oh, it's such a simple solution, but I've been stuck here for a little while. All right, come on, you're obviously coming with me. not take our eyes off of you. That's significantly more complicated than the last time that I saw it. Okay, we gotta match A to A and B to B. Uh, this is just like the kids menu at Friendlies. Alright, down here. All my training prepared me for this. Oops. There we go. Wasn't as complicated as it looked. Well, that gets us here. But does it open anything else? Yes, it opened you as well. What about other places? I think this is going to be about... This is a knot that we have to untangle. That's what this place is. And as we come back here, the music dims. We can still hear it, but it's much more distant. And the boxes haphazardly left about indicates presence. The presence of another consciousness, not that there's presence in the boxes, although... I suppose there could be. But it just brings us around to here.
Now this is interesting. It seems like the music isn't even playing here. I can hear it, but it's like it's just echoing from somewhere very distant off the tiles. You're not a physics object. Why was the other one? Ah, 20 tickets in the fountain. Or in the planter, I guess. If we get 20 more, we can unlock the next area. Uh, I mean, I, I should be running, I really should, but my echoing footsteps makes me so uncomfortable. This takes us over to here. And of course, I will be dispensing each and every one again. See, I'm already rewarded. Oh, it's like bubble wrap. This does seem to be a game... Now, uh, the game Pathologic, right? I... I don't know if I'm ever going to play that on the channel or Pathologic 2. And the reason for that is because I have heard it described as... I mean, I watched the H-Bomber Guy video on it, and I heard it described as a game that delights in wasting your time. That's kind of the impression that I get from this. It's a game that wants you to mess with its stuff. A game where I look at its stuff and I want to mess with it. It's the kind of thing where you look at the distractions before you and you think, sure, I'll engage with that. But you don't realize what you're getting into. You don't realize just how much it's going to waste your time. What you doing out here, Fred? You're gonna move, aren't you? Like, that's gonna be your whole deal? Look, let's let's turn around. Okay, well, you win this round. But I've still got my eye on you. And sometimes I don't, which is the problem. I think this is where we came in. Yeah, well, for the sake of the scare, it's a good thing we came that way around. I mean, look at that. We round that corner... And it's just in the middle of the open plain, staring at us from afar. That would not have landed the same way had I gone the other direction, unless you spawned differently had I gone the other direction. But we've been trained, we gotta check all these corners, gotta check all these planterns. Planters? Planterns? I like planters. Peanuts are a great snack. They're something I can munch on, not terribly high calorie, but a lot of protein for what they are. We can exit over there, and I felt the loading. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, some malls and movie theaters will do this. The circular carpet surrounded by tile. Which is a bit of a cursed thing in real life. I feel like I'm as much a horror let's player as an architecture critic. Is that a thing, architecture critic? The forbidden popcorn stand. And we can interact with it. Ooh. We can push it or drag it. We can grab it from anywhere but the handle. That makes sense. Yeah, now these would be the doors. These would be where we exit them all. But it's totally dark outside. Nothing but the room reflected back at us. Let's take this out. What does it do? Maybe we're meant to bring it somewhere. J and Joe's. Anemiapolis Mall Grand Opening. Yeah, this all definitely starts to feel deliberate, but this is weird. A light only on one side of the platform. Maybe if I bring this up onto the platform, you've changed... You, you weren't... You're in the same spot, roughly, but you weren't facing that way. I'm not stupid. When it comes to watching mannequins. 
Okay, it's just the sound this makes. You want some popcorn, man? I'll look away while you make your decision. See, you are also smart enough to not do anything while I'm looking. Maybe if we bring this up onto this platform? See, now the place is complete, right? Right? No, you move. You move. Have you come to see the grand opening? I'm going to not let you catch me. I'm just going to take my popcorn stand. I said I'm just going to take my popcorn stand. No, I can't move it from this spot. That's it. Its wheels have sunk into the platform, and it is immobile. This area is called the movie theater, mind you. Well, let's just tear out of here. I can think of few things worse than being greeted in a place like this by a place like this. Oh, but look, it's got those neon carpets. I used to love these as a kid because when you saw them, it meant that you were about to have fun. But now that I associate them with hazy memories... Well, it's a bit more of a thing. I can't make it over this wall. Maybe I can find something to stand on. I thought I found something to stand on. Ooh, ticks. I'm only five away from actually being able to get out of here, but I, I might have broken the game. I might have broken this game. Yeah, I broke it. I broke it. Well, it's day one. I imagine other people will probably find this and it'll probably be patched, but in the meantime, I think I have to replay this entire segment. Unless maybe I go to main menu. Does the game save? That's important. I think I saw a continue button before, so I would imagine that it does. Resume game. Nope. 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 No, 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 no. Come on. That is, ah. Uh. There's some right here. I am going through the entire game again, and I can't even rush it, like, because I have to find enough tickets. I have to find enough tickets to unlock every area. Granted, I can save a lot of time. I don't have to go through all, like, the golf stuff again. But good god, and a couple of times on the way here, I've seen it say saving. So what was it doing in the background? I don't know what was going on. The box to resume game was grayed out, and I couldn't click on it. That's weird. We have more ghost objects. Okay. I didn't get this before. Oh, that might be, like, the only, like, overt scare I've encountered in the game. Alright, I am nearly back to where we were before. Didn't take that long, it's just the conference room is so complicated that it takes forever. I couldn't help but notice that my friend was not in her usual spot. Meaning that the circumstances of our meeting were indeed... Well, circumstantial. Although this is almost as bad. Alright, this is coming with us. This time we are not putting it on the platform. It is not for display, and it is not for sale. And it is not for you. Yeah, you know I'm talking to you. That's why you haven't moved this whole time. Well, you turned, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Oh, I saw it get stuck on that geometry, and I was like, please, no. 
Alright, we are going to be extra, extra careful. I only need like 25 more tickets or something to get to the next thing. Yeah, yeah. This feels more like a welcome wagon. Well, I guess this is a welcome wagon, but the lights feel more like a welcome wagon than a creepy scare. After I've gone through all that again. Can't make it over this wall, so maybe I can find something to stand on. Oh, here you go. And we have a set of tickets right here. Oh, come on. Come on, nope, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Come over here. Let go. And to get the best results, we should probably go here, to here, no, 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 no. To here and over. Huh. I was kind of hoping there'd be a panel on the other side of this door so that we could, we could hack it and open it up, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Anything behind the counter? There's got to be. Yes. And I believe that should be enough to push us just over the edge. Uh, my memory is fresh enough. Ooh, look, it's those frosted glass cubes. That's a nostalgic element. All the arcades and restaurants used to have these. A lot of them still do. There's even a house near me that has them as, like, the entire front wall. But I was going to say, luckily my memory was fresh enough that... Ooh, look, look! It's even got the neon... the neon strands across the ceiling. There was a Burger King that used to do this. But yeah, luckily my memory is fresh enough that I can't finish a thought. Oh, we're not through yet. Uh, I was able to get the... I was even able to get the tickets from the lockers without a lot of extra effort. I just kind of remembered roughly where they were. Hello? I can't seem to grab these. That appears to be a bit of an oversight. Unless we can push this thing? No. Yeah, there's actually no way for me to... Oh, no, wait. I can... I saw it. I saw it. It was there. There we go. We can zoom in by right-clicking. I hadn't noticed that. But we can't see anything at the end of this hallway. Just grabbing the thumbnail, don't mind me. Oh. I knew we should be trying each of these. I don't like wading through the dark like this. Feels like something's going to grab me from behind. I don't like that music. 50 tickets. 50 tickets. 50 tickets. 50 tickets. 50 tickets. 50 tickets. Just let us keep that, please. You know what's weird is just how... There are doors, but they're so sparse. So sparse and so irregular, like you would think in a hall of this length there would be more of them. And the one we entered, we see that the rooms they go to aren't even big. We've reached our showing. These little hallways, when you enter a movie theater, they always look, I mean... They feel, rather, like you're boarding a spaceship or something. In the spirit of individual enterprise. This almost feels AI generated. Express city thoroughfares, the rights of way have been so rooted as to displace outmoded business sections and undesirable slum areas whenever possible.
sunshine, trees, hills and valleys, wrought by God, are lovely. Yet yeah, this feels AI generated like it was told to learn from a bunch of like 50s documentaries and stuff. I see. Doing with... Well, doing with living space like one would do with a mall. In the spirit oh, even more the tickets down here. Yeah, it, it seems they're really starting to come together now when you frame it this way. I mean, opening with a large expanse of land? This is all about development. And the cheapness of it, the conformity of it. Or at least, I, I feel like I'm not articulating it well, but it, it's all starting to... The pieces are starting to fit together. I don't know if it's necessarily, like, text, but it's at least subtext of the liminal genre. I mean, I'm a Long Islander. I can't help but be reminded of Levittown. It's rows and rows of identical houses. Here we have mall and school hallways being presented in almost a horror fashion. I guess, you know, I, I was talking earlier about how, like, you know, imagine you were in the situation. Imagine this is your life. But I guess what it's saying here is, well, it basically is, isn't it? Maybe I'm reading too far into it, but that's certainly what I'm seeing. Wait. Oh, you're just gonna keep spitting me out back here, huh? I have long since gotten more than enough tickets. theater in it for us. Oh, that blinding light. And it's building us a bridge made of tickets. Which, you know, in keeping with the themes, I'm a self-made man. I, I have more than enough tickets to support myself, thank you. I don't need your charity tickets, although I will continue scrounging for more because it's an addiction at this point. No. Oh, you did that on purpose. Get me out of here. Going up. And now there's an image to close on. Rows of seats staring intently at you as you watch the doors close around it, enveloping those seats. Should only be one level left. We've done the conference rooms, we've done the theater, we've done golf, we've done that other place. I think there's just the one, right? Let's go check. Please wait for two elevators. Two. Two, what's the other? A family tropical resort. Going down. Remember, every sale is one. Oh, you can't just do the pool again. It's unsportsmanlike. Oh. Oh, they're gonna taunt us, huh? The exit is right there. 
But there's a huge glass wall in front of us. Well, what about... Locked. Locked! Huh. I don't know what these devices are above us, but those look like people slides. Oh, is it going to be that they can't cross? Yeah, hmm. Okay, so that means that we're going to have to go like that. Okay, yeah, I see what you're doing. There we go. So these do get more complicated. We restore power that... Whoa. You don't expect to see something that outwardly dramatic. And that image of the sky once again appearing, clearly significant. <laughs> I thought for a second you wouldn't let me pick that up. Okay, that was kind of creepy how I saw that fall, but it seems this place makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, really, look, we can feel that, like, fog in the air, the steam. I can smell the chlorine, practically. It's more detailed than the pool rooms that we were in before. But in that way, it's very much... It, well, it reminds me of, like, a Great Wolf Lodge after dark type of thing. Like you've been locked in overnight. Caution, wet floor. Well, I'm gonna run all I want. Ain't no cops around. We can walk along all of this. But I think we both know I'm taking the inner tubes, if at all possible. Yep. This was laid out with a lot of people in mind. I'm starting to wonder... Oh, controller right bumper for slide. I'm starting to wonder if this wasn't... Maybe planned to be the development. An entire city underground that just never was populated. Okay, control or right bumper to slide. Well, that's... You're talking about consoles! Okay. Oh, I see. I can hold it down while I'm in here. I don't need a tube. We boop. But can I get on one? I can, but it doesn't do me a lot of good. If I hold control, I can actually kind of move a little faster. I guess the idea is that I'm depressing in the water deep enough to swim. Uh. So this is Cheerio and Milk Simulator, huh? Only on the Cheerio. Amongst Cheerios. I don't have a metaphor, it's just kind of like that. Maybe there's a way out in the lazy river. Maybe there's a shut up if you're an idiot. I'll prefer to walk if at all possible. Huh, it's like equal parts lazy river, art gallery, and, well, jeez, I don't even know what else to call it. Universal ride? But the drainage is blocked ahead. All under another false sky with really normal looking window panes. Perhaps we can get out somehow? No. No, we cannot. It's completely blocked.
This is not... I kind of started to suspect, because it, this is taking way longer than it took for me to get in here, and I would have noticed structures like this. And unless I'm being really inattentive, it's not even giving me tickets anymore. Oh, this is creepy. This is like being somebody who got on the tube, went into the tunnel, and just never came out on the other side. Oh, and the lazy river splits off here. Something a lazy river should never do. As soon as you add decisions, it's not very lazy anymore, is it? Ooh. Look at these things sliding around on the wet tile. Drains lining the floors. Huh. I almost expected this to be a lot deeper. And that... what? Well, I mean, it's blurry, but that almost looks like the windows of an apartment building or an office across the street. I'm intrigued. You know what this feels like? This feels like a dream where you're in a fun situation and that fun situation suddenly becomes dangerous, but nobody else around you seems to see the danger. And so you're panicking, trying to tell people, trying to s s set what's going on in their minds, and they're just not seeing it, and you feel like you're going crazy. Well, we... Actually, wait, no. What if we actually properly do that? We... I keep forgetting I can slide normally. You're just going to bring us to increasingly crazy slides, ain't ya? Well, that's fine, because I'm actually game to go down some increasingly crazy slides. We. It seemed to have more of a loop than they should. Or, well, I guess not. Wait, am I going back the way I came? These things serve only the purpose of turning me around. I keep coming upon this corner in particular right here. At least I feel like that's what's happening. No, I've gotten completely turned backwards. Right? No, it changes. It changes every time I turn around. It's different each time. Oh, look, it even has waterfalls in its caves. Oh, this is so disorienting. I can't form a mental picture of this. I can't. I'm just going to keep pushing forward and keep hoping I find something. I'm not even looking for tickets anymore. That's how badly this is getting me. And I would do anything for tickets. Yeah, okay, this looks like something I haven't seen before. Which is all I can hope for. But it takes me to somewhere I absolutely have seen before. Which, given the linearity of this how... I just gotta keep going. That's my only hope. I just have to assume that if I just keep pushing forward, that eventually I will see the end of this. But of course, that's a faith-based assumption. And a faith-based assumption is... I felt something load. You must be... Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna ride your slide, of course. I'm not that scared. I mean, that's the thing, is it's... Imagine being here and feeling like there's no way out of this. It, it's weird because it's hard to articulate because the situation isn't that bad. All of these are actually emulations of fun situations. And it's not like there's, like, a monster that's going to jump out and kill you or whatever. 
It's not that you're even worried that that's going to happen. It's more that, you know, it just slowly dawns on you that this is not something you can stay in and you have no way of leaving. It, it's, just, it's, a, it's a situation that doesn't seem like it computes for danger. It's a situation that on its surface, visually, feels like the safest thing possible. So you academically knowing that you're going to starve to death at some point, that you can't drink this water, it feels wrong. How can this be a life-threatening situation? I feel like this is like a horror story that gets told in the 80s. Like, hey, little Jimmy, don't go down that slide. You hear what happened to the last kid who did it? Please be new things. All these things, the fact that they keep sliding out from around the corner, it makes it feel like I'm always just on the cusp of catching up with someone. This does actually kind of feel like what a lot of dreams feel like, though. Have you ever had dreams where you're trying to find something or someone? You keep wandering these complicated hallways. You keep seeing the same things over and over, but you can never quite find what you're looking for. Maybe occasionally you see something new, but then it all just connects back to the familiar. I don't know, man. I just don't know. I just have no idea. Wait, this is new. I think. I think this is new. It's been so long since I've seen anything new. This is not new. I gotta wonder if this isn't just on a timer, or if it's, like, procedurally generated, or if it, like... Is there something in particular that it wants me to do? This is deeply confusing to me, but I just walked from one room into the next room, so I know I'm not just getting turned around. Uh, bit of a gap in the wall there. I noticed that before I noticed how to actually get out of here. Maybe I can... hang on. Maybe I can platform this thing? Uh, no, these beams aren't solid. I think this might be new. This is new? Okay. Okay. Another forked path. Oh. This just looks like how we came in, honestly. Okay, a new thing. Yay! Alright, we have reached the sacred... Uh, Inner Sanctum, I guess. The final boss of Great Wolf Lodge. We... I said we... I, I, this slide sucks. Well, look. I came all this way. I'm gonna play. I came all this way, and I am going to play... What do you mean you won't let me play? I can fit in there. What, you think I'm too big? You think I'm too old? I can do whatever I want. See, look, we. I came all this way and I am going to behave as a child would. Please tell me something, anything. There's gotta be something I can do when reaching this spot something. It feels like such a central point. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know if I just missed that before. Ah, uh, good. Urgh. That went on. I don't know if there was, like, a trick or, like, a pattern or something that I was supposed to see, but that went on entirely too long. Oh, but let's not let that boredom get in the way of this, because this has taken on a much darker tone. And the tickets are back, which means my brain is now more actively engaged. We have to slide to move forward here. Ugh. 
Uh. Oh my god. Oh, that's making my stomach drop. Ugh. Too much motion, too much motion, too much motion. Ah. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that label is accurate. I mean, you definitely shouldn't dive into this. I was talking about more of the specific measurements. Look at how dark this is. That green and blue glow reflecting off of the water. Also, it clearly gets deeper. You can't just put the same sign right here. Oh, all of it suspended in a glass case over more pools. It's almost like rats in a cage. Like, this is some kind of science experiment. Like, all the kids who go into the slides and never come out on the other side, this is where they end up, in a space just parallel to the rest of the park. Unbeknownst to every other kid. And what good even are these tickets at this point? Oh, no. Oh, no, I think I'm starting to see what it's getting at. I think it wants me to climb up the slide. Oh, please, no. Oh, please, no. Oh, I can't get up any further. All right, uh, thank you, no. Maybe I'm to try climbing back up this one? Maybe that's the case? Maybe from somewhere on here I can jump to the other one. Maybe that could be a thing. Uh. Yeah, here we go. All right. I'm thankful I figured that one out fairly quickly. Some more tickets down there. I don't know if we take fall damage. But we can negate it by dropping into the deep end of that pool. There we go. Now what else have we? Ooh, a ton of tickets over here. I feel like since the movie theater, it's just being very, very generous with the tickets. I have so many. But who knows what the next one's going to cost. Oh, look. We're above, like, a pit. Above a pit, above a pit, above a pit. I think that's probably where we have to end up going, ultimately, but... Man, it's like we've stumbled onto the back rooms of the pool, of the resort... But in the back rooms, it's just more pool. This thing is far deeper than I thought. Oh, and we can't climb out. We can only exit from the ladder. Or the shallower end. Although even on the shallow end, I can't see just how deep it is. This is where this would have ended up if we had followed it. Look. That sharp drop-off. That ominous, ominous music. That might be a way out as well. It's giving us many opportunities to jump. Like it wants us to. And I think I'm gonna go for that space down below. If I can. If I drown, nobody will notice. So, this place starting to get to you, sport? Another access panel. Might be useful. Okay, so we can trace it to there. Oh. You saw that, right? Oh, is this just a haunted Gary's mod map in disguise? You guys, you pranked me. I definitively saw the shadow of a person suspended in there. We can't get through. Wait, what was that? Another access panel might be useful. Yeah, you said that already. Uh, this one is not appearing.
There we go. That opened... Eh. Not sure what that did. I don't know if maybe there were two panels. I don't know what just happened to me. Was I, like, briefly underwater or something in the game size? Oh, that blinding light in the middle of the hallway. It's just one more factor of this game meant to disorient, I suppose. This is open. Wait. Staff only. And uh, I guess I was a good little boy by closing it because we can't open it again. Ah, an original image. Catwalks underwater partially. This must be some kind of water reservoir. You are unequipped to make sense of this? And if that's your starting point, I think I'm correct in that assessment. It is dingy in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is... No, 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 no. I'm having flashbacks now. I'm having severe flashbacks to Nanobite's pool rooms map. Where, where, well, in an area just like this, the power went out on us. Well, here we are opening every locker again. I'm not going to do all of them. It's probably not worth the tickets. No, I, I just want to keep moving. Why? Is there someone in here with me? Why, 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 why? Oh god, it's the wall rider. All right, keep moving, 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 keep moving. Just don't think run. Just we can always keep moving. We can always keep moving, but I don't know what happens if it catches us. I don't know if it was just shadows or what, but I could have sworn I saw like spindly arms or something in the back. Oh, bathrooms hide in a stall. No, that'll never work. No, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. This looks like where I came from, but the doors are all closed. You perhaps hide in one of these lockers. Keep moving, yes. You know what? You don't have to tell me twice. Oh, the endless implications of that. Someone was here before me. Or this place just likes to play with its food. Oh, I hope I don't run out of recording space. Exit. Do I just keep following it? Do I take its word? Do I take it at its word? That's the opposite way, no. I have to believe that each exit sign brings me closer. I have to. No, I, I, I just heard something on my left. This way? The question is, brings me closer to what? To run towards you. To run towards you to get away. Around! How long must I do this? If that other space was anything to go by, it's willing to do this for a really long time. Into the dark. Into the dark. Into the dark. No. No! Uh, it's definitely... I don't know how much I like it, honestly. But this game is definitely making it part of its identity to exhaust the player. Just have to keep moving. This is new. New is good. That's what we learned. That's what we learned. That's why I leave all these on. Was there something there just now? I think that might have just been the pipes. 
Here. Here, light. Yes. Okay, that didn't go on nearly as long. Jeez, that was terrifying. In the dark with a shadow and not knowing where to go. That's the thing. It's running, but not even knowing where we're going. Just not wanting to be where it is. Something is very wrong. Are you by any chance related to a Mr. Ethan Winters? Because you are about that slow on the uptake. What was that in the locker room? Now we're in a different mall. And with different music. Doop, 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 doop. You know, if it's gonna put me through trouble, I'm gonna put it through trouble. Ghosts having to come down here afterwards and play 52 gumball pickup. Interesting statue. And a statue which we clearly must climb now. Despite, I'm sure there are at one point being signs clearly warning not to do so. I mean, this thing would be such a target for children. Getting up into the guts of the ceiling now. It's like being above the false ceiling. Only it's a lot thicker. Yeah, there's our gumball mess. We can look down from the rafters and be proud. We do project a certain amount of ambient light like Ethan Winters. Get out of here. These are my back rooms now. Huh. It's like being in a closed-down department store, yet so much of this imagery is reminding me of the Dead Malls video I did a while back, exploring a couple of nearly empty malls. But we can get lost in the dressing rooms, I imagine. Yep, how did I know? Exploiting all manner of childhood fears up in here. Maybe we'd be better served just staying on the path, huh? Of course, every time these shadows move, I become a little bit more convinced that maybe that thing is following me again. For example... You did not like me entering your pools, huh? Oh, but this just goes back around to where we were. There's nothing useful here. There should only be one space... Oh no, we're not done. We're not done with this place. We're not done by a long shot look. Leaving half the room in darkness while looking up at blackened skylights. And it immediately gives us the impression that it's at night. This game is actually doing a great job of making use of the movie theater effect. You know when you go into a movie during the day? And you're in the dark for so long that it feels jarring to come out into the light. Like how can it still be daytime? It gives you that even without the luxury of going back outside. Going up. <sighs> These are such restful moments when we're in here. The elevator actually feels like a safe haven. But what else is there? What else could there be? I don't remember seeing a sign for more tickets.
before, open. Each of these, I guess, representing a different thing. But there's Please wait for one, one more. Which, which, which one? I don't know if it was a bug before that the tickets respawned on this one shelf. But if I can go back and see if that bug has maybe replicated itself. No, sadly. I'm pretty sure I collected what was on here twice before. I'm just going to take a moment to pause and just check my recording space because I have recorded literally hundreds of gigs worth of stuff tonight. Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm down to like the last 140 gigs on my 4 terabyte drive, but it was already low before this. How many do you want? I can't even see. Oh, it's free. Oh, uh, the way those doors just jitter, like they're just barely able to do their job. Uh, things are noticeably dimmer in here now. Is that something I should be... That one light up above is like an eye watching me approach. Like I've finally been through its trials. And now it's here to observe me for itself. This actually, I can't help but notice this looks a little bit like the classic back rooms. Oh no. Oh no. A clock with no hands. They knew exactly what they were doing with that gag. I guess any direction's as good as any other. Just keep moving. That's that's the name of this. There's no way. There's no way I can be thorough here. It's just impossible. Which is itself very disconcerting. Very deeply disconcerting. Well, this elevator... I found it pretty quickly. Going up. Right? I hope I'm not, like, accidentally missing out on a huge part of the game here. That was just creepy. That was just unnerving. Like a weird aside in a dream. To be sent here... And, oh no, everything else is closed. Why? But just to be sent through that and then immediately deposited back into this calming atmosphere? That, like, doesn't compute. Please wait for more visitors to arrive for departure. Ooh. The floor is so black, it almost looks like I'll be stepping into an abyss. But there is a reflection there. And we have certainly earned this. But, as it is called Anemiopolis Chapter 1... I don't think it's going to be that easy. I'm almost tempted to go back and wander around that area some more, but I think I got the gist of it. Oh, shut up. I wasn't making these sounds before, was it? Hello? Footsteps. Hey. Hey, I'm in this elevator. Settle down. Over here. You know, of all the people who went down there, you're the first person to come back out. Unfortunately, your knowledge of this place is a liability. Wait, what are you talking about? You can't leave just yet. There's a friend of mine still down there. He owes me a few things. I'll think about opening this elevator when he is in it too. Dead or alive. Oh, here. Take this. You'll need it. This just... This just got much more complicated. There's so much more going on here, but... 
Oh. Developed by Andrew Quist. Great job. Soundtrack by Jordan and Intellifax42. Villain voice, Natalie Quist. Intercom voice, Jamie Quist. Oh, this is so cool. Honestly, great job. I ran into a couple of bugs that soured the experience a little bit, and in that one part, like, the low point for me wasn't even getting sent back. It was that part in the in the Lazy River, which I don't know if I was missing something or what, but on the whole, like, but, like those are my two criticisms. That's it. The rest of this, I think it's living up to being the liminal space game. But I'm curious to see where it can go from here, because that was a huge bombshell at the end, introducing us to the fact that, yes, this was constructed by people, and people do know about this. It physically exists. It's not the back rooms. But it just left me with so many questions. It's like this first chapter was the definitive like, liminal space experience, but there's going to be more to it. It's going to expand with more ideas and become its own thing. Uh, not to mention the gorgeous graphics and the immaculate level design. I really like how they've given you an incentive to engage with the environment through that ticket system. And so basically, you have to explore a certain amount, but you don't have to see everything. You're not, it's not going to like hold you down there until you've put your nose in every little corner. But you do have to at least play by its rules a little bit. It wants you to see everything and it's not going to let you just sprint right through to the end. This was worth the wait. I, I enjoyed this a lot. And I had a lot more to say than I thought I would. Because I've spoken so extensively on liminality as a concept before... And on top of all that, I think the level design itself is just an above-average implementation of liminal architecture. And I'm not just talking about the graphics being really good or it performing really well, which it does both on, you know, on both counts. Each area felt unique where, like, it had its own challenges. Even though there was nothing actually happening to us 99% of the time, each area, just through its architecture, and just in the way you're forced to engage with that architecture, it has emotional highs and lows. There's actually, like, a roller coaster going on, like, story structure through looking at architecture, and that's a really cool thing to accomplish. It's kind of amazing how, even while it's not really doing anything, it still manages to blend several different types of horror. Fear of the dark, fear of the unknown, what this place is, what we're doing here, whether we're losing our mind. And then there's the survival side of it. Just by showing us these water fountains, I'm, you just start to feel like you've been in it for so long. I mean, my final record time is, it's like over three hours. It's like three and a half hours now. And I honestly feel like I've gone feral, like I've been living down here for my entire life. And then, of course, we get just the one moment of terror where we actually are being chased, and we know we're being chased. Easy enough that we're not getting caught and losing our... I don't even know what would have happened if we had been caught. But it's easy enough that we're not getting caught, but just active enough that we have to keep moving or it'll happen. You can always keep yourself alive for that one second longer, but for how much longer can you do that? It also paced itself exceptionally well. It was a long time before we actually visually saw anything to indicate that there might be something down here with us. Uh, I, I could talk more about this, but my throat is getting so sore. I've recorded like several hours worth of gameplay in other videos before this, and I'm at almost three and a half hours on this one. So I'm just gonna wait for the next part and if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.